Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for taking the time to tune into our monthly Council Wrap. Last Tuesday, the Council held both its annual general meeting for the 22-23 financial year, as well as the November ordinary meeting. The AGM was an opportunity for the community to come and hear what Council has achieved over the past 12 months of the financial period and Council has adopted the 22-23 annual report. As the Planning Authority, Council approved the three development applications. The first for roadworks along Frankford Road at Exeter on behalf of the Department of State Growth. Second was Council unanimously approved a dwelling at 153 Cormanston Road at Riverside. And finally, eventually approved a dwelling extension at 137 Gardeners Road at Greens Beach after some minor amendments were made at the table to the application. After some deliberation, councillors then approved a review of the public question time policy with an amendment to the original motion that will allow ratepayers to make political statements during question time. Councillors then considered and voted unanimously in the affirmative on a response to the State Government's Tasmanian Fire and Emergency Services Bill. In a tight vote at the table, councillors did approve updated directions for delegations under LUPA, the Land Use Planning and Approvals Act. Councillors also unanimously endorsed its draft submission to another state government proposal, this one being the Development Assessment Panel's position paper. Councillors authorised our Chief Executive Officer to sign the submission on their behalf outlining our position and you can read more about that on our website. Council approved more than $8,000 in community grants and funding for the October-November period supporting wonderful community initiatives such as the Rotary Club of West Tamers Mobile Toy Library and almost $2,800 for the Exeter Golf Club to install a new security system. And on the subject of grants, Council approved three Australia Day event grants for the Beaconsfield Tennis Club, the Gravelly Beach Foreshore Committee and the Rowella Hall Committee. In our closed session, Council approved several works tenders, including the tender for the Beauty Point Coastal Pathway revetment, which was awarded to One Earth Excavations. The tender for the road construction at Cayenna Road was awarded to Platinum Group Tasmania. And finally, Council has officially endorsed the nominees for our Australia Day Awards for 2024. Those successful and extremely deserving nominees across five categories will be announced at an awards presentation early next year. Thank you again for tuning in. Council has one more council meeting left for this year and that will be the December council meeting and I look forward to speaking with you then.